This morning, our series, Eye on Earth, goes to England to see what could be the next revolution in air transportation. Commercial airline travel is a major source of planet warming greenhouse gas emissions. Unlike electric cars, viable electric airplanes have been out of reach so far. Mark Phillips, though, found out that electric powered flights could take off sooner than you think. This one looks like the Red Baron's World War I triplane had too good a time at the party. This one looks like Luke Skywalker might use it on the school run. And this one looks like a flash from the past that doesn't flash very fast. What they're all trying to look like is the future of aviation, because they're all designed to fly on a revolutionary new fuel for airplanes, electricity. How far are we away from having the holy grail of aviation, an electric airplane? Um, a full electric airplane is a little way away. Uh, the big problem with full electric flights still at this moment in time is power density. Power density is airplanes speak for the fact that when it comes to flying, there's nothing like aviation fuel. It may be polluting, but pound for pound it packs 14 times the punch of any current battery. You couldn't put enough batteries in a plane like this and have it get anywhere. A look around this display of vintage aircraft illustrates the challenge. In this British Aviation Museum, you can trace the history of aircraft design back over more than a century. But whatever the technological advances from original biplanes to supersonic, all of these planes use one basic fuel, oil. Now, though, there's a race on to try to change that. This is the baby. This is, this is the starting point, basically. This is where we're at right now. Where we are right now is this 19-seater design that Neil Cluffley says will be in the air within three years. It's admittedly an interim step, a so-called bioelectric hybrid. Just like a hybrid car, it's jam full of batteries to run its electric motors. But it's also got a little jet engine running on plant-based, not fossil fuel, to provide extra takeoff power and charge the batteries. And according to the designer, it's future-proof. In the future, as we get to better batteries, we swap out the turbo generator, put that power pack in, the rest of the aircraft stays the same. Others are trying to go pure electric right now. This nine-seater got a lot of interest at the last Paris air show. Internally, we say it's a huge battery with some plane painted on it. But it's a risky approach. They're having to design a new model now because the batteries in this one caught fire. The safest approach, though, may be this one. Harbor Air in Vancouver has taken the piston engine out of one of its old seaplanes and put an electric one in. The thing flies, but not very far, which may be okay for a short hop service like this. Scaling up is the problem. The major builders, Boeing, Airbus, are betting on improved biofuel engines, but they come with their own environmental problems. The developers of the new technology say electric planes will be a commercial reality this decade. But there's a saying in radical aviation design, take theory, apply engineering, add miracle. For CBS This Morning, I'm Mark Phillips in Duxford, England. It does seem like it would be a miracle. It's hard to imagine they could create enough battery power to give you the lift yes. to get those things off the ground. Yes. I'm not there yet, but I, I love Mark's writing. <laughs> yes. Where he says that plane looks like it had a, a, had a too good a time at a party. Yes. I like that. We know some people like that.